Hello everyone and welcome to another what's on my Android device video. This time what's on my Nexus 7. Alright, here's my Nexus 7 2013 edition. Quick disclaimer, I am rooted on this guy. I'm running the stock version of Android 4.4.2 and I'll be, I'll be sure to point out which applications require root during this video. Nothing on my home screen or anything that comes to mind, so you'll be good with all this. This, is, this can all be done without having to get into any really hard trickery. Uh, I'm using Nova Launcher as my launcher here, Nova Launcher Prime. That's definitely worth, I think it's like $4 in the Play Store, definitely worth it. It's great for customization. The icon packs that I'm using are Stark is my main one. That's a paid application as well. And down here, I'm using a newer one that just came out called Moonshine, which looks pretty sweet. Um, as for the home screens, I have five of them on my main one here. I just have Dash Clock, a big from a big widget from Newsstand, and then some commonly used applications on the side here. And then in my dock, I have things for um, instant messaging, Gmail, Chrome. And if you swipe to the side, I have things for storage and pictures. Now going to the site here, this is my designated reading page. I use my tablet and I purchased it primarily to read stuff and to consume content. So I have my books here, what I'm currently reading and like the page numbers. That's kind of cool for, this is the widget for um, Google Playbooks. And then some more reading and news applications up here. And then the final one on this side is just my calendar. This is the Today calendar. I have the paid version. You should definitely give that a check out. It's nice because it color codes everything that I actually go through and set up for um, in Google Calendar. As you might be able to notice, I just got <laughs> just work and workouts for the foreseeable future. Uh, this page, I really didn't know what to do with this page, so I just kind of threw on some applications that I use most often. Um, just some games and I have like eBay and Amazon. And then in this space down here, this, uh, my Google Keep widget would normally go here, but I had some notes I didn't really want to share with the world, so I took that off there for now. And the final page of my home screen setup is the Tasks widget. And I actually did a video covering this recently. Tasks is a great application. I use it as my to-do list for everything, and it syncs across all my devices, so it's really nice. And the widget's good, too, because I can see the details about it and when it's due and everything like that. I guess we might as well go through my lock screen while we're here too. Not that I spend much time on my lock screen, but why not? Um, I have I have dash clock up here for my time and my other cool settings. And down here, I actually use a lock on this. I don't use a lock on my phone, but because I always have my phone with me, if I like get up to go to the bathroom, I usually don't take my tablet with me. So I actually lock this guy. Um, if we go to the side here, I just have my calendar and tasks again. And some people might not have noticed this either. Um, just like I leave custom messages for myself sometimes, just for fun things. You can do that in the security settings and go to owner info and just type in something. It's cool. I just like putting different references or something on there every day. And that about does it for my home screen setups. Now let's go dive into some applications, shall we? Oh no, you know how to get into my tablet. Um, I'm going to try to go through here as quickly as possible. <laughs> try to make it shorter than the last one I did. I'm just going to point out some kind of cool things that I see. Um, I use this, my tablet, a lot for testing out newer applications too. So you'll hear me say that a lot. Like blue light filter is a new one I'm trying out. It's, it's supposed to it's supposed to like lessen the strain on your eyes by filtering out blue light if you're in a dark environment, like reading your tablet at night. Um, I haven't noticed much of a change like in my sleep quality, so I'm still working on that. But it's kind of cool. I guess, I suppose it makes it more natural looking, makes it look a little more like paper, but I don't know. That's to be continued. Comixology, that's a nice application. I'm, I'm reading X-Men finally, so that's my application for using that. Um, cracked for reading Cracked. Dolphin browser, I I only use this last semester. Um, it's it's just a browser that I use if I need Flash content. Um, the class I use, I had last semester, the website used Flash, so I got the plugin for that and worked well. Duolingo, I use that. Actually, I'm using that daily now, just to brush up on my high school Spanish skills or lack thereof. Gesture navigation, this is part. This is a module for the Exposed framework, and this is a Reddit application. What it does is allows you to program 
your device so that when it receives a certain gesture input, it will perform an action. That sounds kind of complicated, but all I have it set up is for is to turn off my, dis my, uh, my display. And I do that with a three finger swipe down and it turns off the display. So that's pretty cool. I just need a way to turn it on without having to push the button now. Let's see, what else did we have? Um, Gravity Box, that is another Reddit application too. I won't go too in depth, but it just allows for other miscellaneous tweaks to your device. Um, I use it for things like quick settings up here, um, media tweaks. When I have a song playing, I can long press the volume up or volume down button to skip or repeat the song. And I use it to customize the power menu so I can add different reboot options or force a immersive mode to make the, the go full screen and hide the navigation bar. So that's pretty nice. Um, I have a lot of games on here too. Not that I really don't play games on my tablet much, but they're on here just for the occasion. Like Into the Dead is kind of a fun zombie runner. Mango, this application is not available on the Play Store. It's It used to be, it was taken down. Um, all it is, it's a online manga reader, and which I use a lot because there's a lot of manga I follow, and the nearest bookstore that like supplies any is an hour away from me, so I would read it on here first just to stay up to date with stuff and not get it spoiled all over the internet, and then when I'm in town, I'll actually buy a physical copy of it. Uh, Mint, I'm trying to, I'm trying like the, you know, manage your finances on your digital devices. It's... It's kind of working. I wish it was quicker about like logging my transactions because then I'm always like second guessing like, oh, how much money do I really have in that account or whatever else. My Fitness Pal, I'm using this along with Runtastic to try to try to make like a, I'm trying to get a good combo of health applications. Like health is really an important part of my life, but I really just don't see not much of a benefit yet anyways for logging my health stuff on my phone and tablet. I use Runtastic more than my fitness pal because I think logging your food is just a pain in the butt and like I know what I eat and I don't need to write it down I guess um but Runtastic I just use this to log my workouts and my runs and I guess to, I don't know keep track of my activity even though I remember it <laughs> whatever I'm still working on that too um podcast addict that's a new one I got just yesterday I think I'm not really into big into podcasts but there's a few that I like so I'm trying it out I know there's Pocket Cast is a highly rated one that I'll probably check out eventually too. Um, Quadrant, I don't even know why I have that. Reddit Sync, that is a great Reddit application you should check out. It just got updated recently. Um, remote Desktop, use that for controlling my desktop You know, while I'm across my room laying on my bed. Rewards, or Google Play Rewards, I suppose. That is a really nice application. All it is, um, Google will send out a survey. You'll get a notification for it. Take the survey. It's usually one to six or seven questions. If you answer it, they'll give you Google Play, Play credit, which is it's sweet. Um, Spotify, I use that over Pandora. I like it a lot more. And Titanium Backup, that's another Reddit application. All I use it for is backing up applications. <laughs> Nothing too complicated there. And then Expose Installer, this is with the Expose framework, which ties all these Reddit applications together. But again, anything that you see um, part of my home screens or anything, nothing here requires root to do. It's just stuff like into actual, into more in-depth settings in my like quick settings here, or my power menu, like I showed you before. But I think that about sums up everything interesting I wanted to talk about. Well, that about sums it up. Thanks for checking out my what's on my Nexus 7 video. If you have any questions about my setup or any applications that I use, or if you have any suggestions for me to use, leave them in the comment below. Thanks for watching.